Today I want to share with you the cost of doing a rough foundation here in Lake Lagos. You know, I am a realtor and also a contractor here in Lake Lagos. And most time, when we sell to people like this, we also assist them, you know, with their construction needs. So we have detailed cost of how much you will require because most time when you buy land, you are trying to look at how much will I even need, you know, to get approval and all of those kind of things. That's why we come up once in a while to educate you so that you, you know, if you are not prepared, you won't know what you are coming in for. Do you understand? So here I'm going to be giving you detailed cost of doing a rough foundation. And when I mean rough foundation, this foundation is about 1.8 meter high, 600 mm down. Do you understand? So 1.8 meter. So you can do the calculation. All right. So let's jump straight there. Um, I said there. So let's jump straight, guys, and have a detailed look at this course. Now, first is reinforcement. This course I'm giving you, nobody can argue it. This is the accurate course. Though you may add one or two miscellaneous, all right? We use nine tons of TMT iron. And a ton of iron here is around 1 million 20,000. So when you multiply by nine ton, you get about 1 million 180,000. We also need sharp sand. Of course, you need, you need sharp sand. So we bought five T pass of a uh, five truck of 30 ton of sharp sand. Please, this course I'm giving you is accurate to 30 ton of sharp sand. And here in MN Estate Phase 3, where I'm standing, a ton of sharp sand, or 30 ton rather, of sharp sand is around 185,000 naira. Okay, 185,000, so times 5. That will give you about 920,000. We also bought granite, 5 ton of granite, alright? So the granite here is 500,000. I'm in MN Estate, very close to Ijebode. So don't carry the same cost you are giving, maybe in Aja, because in Aja you may be buying it 500 and something thousand. So here in MN Estate Phase 3, we bought it for 500,000, which is when you multiply that by five, it will give you 2.5 million naira for the granite. Now, what about marine board? We bought marine board. This is the marine board here. We bought 120 pieces of marine board at 25, sorry, 24,000 naira each for one piece of marine board. So that will give you about 2,880,000 for 120 pieces of marine board at 24,000. You can get it 23,500 or there about, but let's just leave it at 24,000 because of transportation. So marine board for 120 pieces is around Two million eight hundred and eighty thousand naira. Now you need wood. So all together, all the wood generally just keep around two million five hundred thousand, two point five million naira for the different kind of wood. Do you understand? You know, I just mentioned the two by three. Now we also bought cement, which of course is one of the most important costs that you must calculate. Five hundred bags of cement are bought here. I'm talking about this cost from this level to the DPC level, not just what you are seeing here to the DPC level. That's the total amount I'm giving you now. So. For about 500 bags of cement will be required here and the bag of cement here is around 10,500 so when you do that calculation you will have around 5,250,000 for the cement only to the DPC level all right so which is 500 bags of cement of course you know we need a size store this thing I'm standing here we need a size store to keep our material now this size store already costs us about 450,000 because we use this kind of uh, you know zinc we use this zinc to do it around 450,000 we did a borehole you need a bowl, pumping machine. I'm talking about that interdap. And of course, a generator to power to pump the water. That one will cost you 750000 altogether. Bowl, okay? Pumping machine and a generator. About 750000 I hope you are putting your calculator together to see what you are coming to spend if you are intending to build here in the Pejuleki with this kind of uh, foundation to the DPC level. All right? So we need two tanks. These are the tanks, about 2,000 liters. And that will give you about 300000 That's 150 per tank. 300,000 naira for the tanks. Guys, we also, you need uh, profile, all of those kind of profiling and all of that. So just keep 150,000 for the profiling and the line, you know, those rope, line, profile and stuff like that. So 150,000 naira can get that done. Any engineer that is in this house, if you are watching, you can comment if it is if it is wrong. The figures I'm giving are very much accurate. So labor cost for casting, you know, the casting come in different phases. You have the first phase and other phases. So the different phases of the casting, you just budget around 2 million naira or thereabout for the labor cost. You know, those ones are negotiable. So it depends on who you are working on. But these are what I'm giving you that is accurate as of today here. All right. Now, apart from the labor for casting, you also need labor for excavation, planning and stuff like that. So you can also keep another 500,000 for such work, you know, for excavation and blinding. Then, of course, you know, you need, uh, there's another fee, professional fee. That is the engineer or the contractor, like we are now, we are contractor that will handle this project. That one is negotiable. It's not something just come on air and talk. It depends on who is handling the project. What you are going to spend is going to be more than two, three million naira. But like I said, it's negotiable. So if you need the accurate figure, you can come in. I'm going to give you that figure for what the professional fee, talking about the engineers, all of the engineers that are involved, the structural, mechanical, the civil, all of those kind of engineers that are the project manager that will be in charge of this project. So that one is 
negotiable. So guys, in total, I also not end this video without reminding you that keep miscellaneous, so it's very important. In a side like this, sometimes you don't even budget for some of those things. Minor, minor things that you know, you may not even be aware. They can come in. So miscellaneous, plus or minus, keep like 2,500,000 for such miscellaneous that I may not capture here. Mm. Do you understand? Like some feeling and all that minor, minor thing. You know, I didn't can, calculate. In fact, let me even tell you what you need for some feeling here. The number of sand that you need here. Some feeling sand here is around 90,000 per trip. And you need up to 30 or 35. It depends on how your height is. But it's not compulsory to do the sand feeling before starting your work, okay? So that one is just this, by the by the way. All right, now, in total, apart from the sand feeling, all the costs that I ran here, they're about 30 million, 35,000. So plus or minus, you should be aware that to do such a rough foundation of 1.8 meter here in MN State Phase 3 or each corridor will cost you around 35 million era. It will cost you around what? 35 million era. Some people don't deceive and say, ah, Ben, no more. This thing costs you. I never even feel it. I just foundation. You better tango because this is just a rough. What about people that are doing piling? This money that I mentioned, uh, 35 million era, plus or minus, that will not reach some people to just do piling. I'm telling you, before they talk of this, um, German flow to the DPC level. So thank God that MN Estate is around this range. All right. So this is about five bedroom duplex that is coming here in MN Estate phase three. So if you like the content that I've given to you, the information I know is relevant. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up and also help us share this video to as many people that you know that own land in MN Estate phase three, Tiara Estate, the Parliament Estate, Mikasa Estate, you know, all this estate in this area. I am telling you for sure that this is the approximate amount that you should be looking at if you are intending to have such a project or to do such a foundation here in Lekki Lagos. Don't forget, I did not include your fence. So some people are economical, they try to dodge fence. They are lying for their neighbor to do fence. The cost of fence alone here in MN Estate alone, because of the reinforcement and all that, it's around seven million naira. I'm telling you for sure. But what some people do, you know, some of our clients, they say, Ben, I don't have that money. Make my neighbor say, come, we will contribute money. Make him do one part, me, I go do one part. Do you understand? So that one is, I didn't include it. But what I gave to you here is just for the foundation up to the DPC level. All right. So thank you once again for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more related content. Till I see you in our next episode. My name is Benjamin Ali. And for more than nine years now, we have consistently assisted a lot of Nigerians, you know, buying of land, selling, construction, just like what you are seeing. And every information that when it comes to construction or when it comes to real estate investment here in Lake Lagos, we are number one, number one. All right. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Bye, guys.